i don't know if it was a century but for a long long time the league of women voters used to run the debates if you go back and watch the nixon kennedy debates i mean there's just some great debates that the league of women voters did and in one eighty eight ah. president ah. well he wasn't president at the time his vice president george herbert walker bush said ah. you know and it it was ah. bush against dukakis at that time and he said i will not debate michael dukakis ah. if the debate is moderated by the league of women voters and the reason why of course was because the league of women voters was pretty scrupulous about asking follow up questions and and trying to pin people down and bush knew that on in circumstances like that he would be destroyed because he basically had no record to run on and and reagan's record was starting to get really really toxic in the minds of lots of people so he said i will only debate in a in a debate forum that is sponsored by the two political parties who you know have an interest in making their good their guys look good but not so much of an interest in making the other guy holding the other guy accountable to tell the truth and so they created this so called presidential commission it was just a BS you know public uh, relations thing by the two political parties so now biden comes along and says i don't want that i want a real debate so we'll see how this plays out but sean hannity is all flipped out about this he says moderator shouldn't be allowed to fact check he says the crybaby baby excuses have started even faster than you. Oh, he didn't say that. Ron Filipowski says that crybaby baby excuses have started even faster than you. This crybaby, of course, Sean Hannity. He uh, he said I would add that moderators' mics they need to be muted. Uh, also, after a question, why? Because it's obvious the liberal media they you know muting the moderators, not Trump, the moderators. He says the liberal media they'd love to be two on one versus Donald Trump. No, that can't happen. Nor should networks be allowed to put anything on the screen but the names of the candidate. In other words, you can't say on the screen, oh, that was a lie Trump just told. And uh, the moderators can't jump in and say, but that's not true, Mr. Trump. You know, this guy, uh, Trump, yesterday on TV, he said he won, uh, he won Minnesota in 2020. He lost by seven points. This guy lies the way most of us breathe. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-808-9925. How do you debate a guy who's not just a pathological liar, he's a professional liar. It's how, he, it's how he's made his living. 